Thank you for sticking with us. We are into Let's Play and Chat now, and uh, we got uh, uh, Sonic Mania Plus on deck today. This came in a couple of days ago, and one of the cool things uh, I think you can see right here is that you have a, um, a Genesis um, cover for the game uh, case, which is really cool. That you can turn it around. You can. It's the standard Switch one on one side, and then you can turn it into the Genesis one. This will forever be my Genesis uh, box with a Genesis wrapper, which I love. Okay, Sonic Media came out last year, one of the best games of 2017, and uh, what they've d done with uh, Sonic Plus, honestly, I haven't really dug too deep in. I know that Encore mode is new. Um, it says push blast processing to the next level with high definition graphics. Oh, they changed all of the backing on this thing too, which is amazing. Um, uh, you get two new characters in an all new Encore mode. So um, we're going to test this out. We're going to try this Encore mode right now. I think Encore mode is... Uh, it mixes and matches some of the levels and stuff. I'm sure some of you are already playing this already right now. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of the gameplay. Let's play in chat as you guys, you know, watch the game. Hi, everyone. We watch uh, Blake and I chat a little bit, but uh, this is about interacting with you guys. So if you've got questions or comments about this or any other part of the show, any anything you want to talk about, just do us a favor. Try to put it into all caps so we can read it a little bit easier. And Blake's going to, first thing he's going to do is going to go through uh, some of the chat stuff that uh, is already here. Because, you know, we've had people like Thorazine commenting, um, Tyler Fisher, uh, who just got a couple of shirts. Thank you so much, my friend. That's fantastic. Can't wait to see the picture. Um, actually, we didn't do any. I, I got a couple pictures. We'll do that tomorrow. We'll get the pictures into the show oh. tomorrow. Oh, of uh, yeah, t-shirts. Pe people wearing t-shirts and stuff. Sam, I am uh, one one one. The grindiness of games like this puts me off. Talking about Octopath Traveler, don't be put off. You're gonna be blown away. It's such a beautiful piece of art. It is it's such a great game. Uh, anyways, uh, Blake will follow along. He will ask the questions. Let's check out Encore mode. Um, and this isn't using any of my save stuff from the uh, downloaded um, copy of Sonic Mania that I already have on the Switch. Wait, this did you just adjust the audio on your own? I, me, didn't, uh, I didn't touch it. Let me check it on mine. Just I didn't touch the audio. It's just loud in my ear. All right. I just okay. want to make sure it's not too loud on that. Okay. Yeah, let us know if it's too loud, you guys. Um, Uh, Wizard of Loneliness asks if uh, I was playing the demo of Octopath Traveler and if I noticed anything different. And uh, I didn't play the demo. I I, uh, I don't have tons of time to play, you know, pre-release stuff. You know, like I'm I'm, tr I'm trying to keep up with all the stuff that comes out, and uh, so I don't spend tons of time with them. I downloaded it, I just never got to it. Uh, so s playing the game for the first time, and I honestly was a little bit nervous because you know sometimes those games kind of I've played so many of them that they kind of um, they can be a little bit dull for me, because I've, I've uh, entered many a Japanese RPG and many, um, you know, classic-style, Super Nintendo-style games in the past. Uh, but it is staggeringly well done. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous game. It's, you know, a big chunk of it is the art, for sure. Uh, but I just was really impressed with the storytelling and the eight characters and the paths. Uh, but we're not talking about Octopath Traveler right talking now. talking about Sonic. Yeah, we're, we're in the Sonic. Well, I mean... People have more questions about it, I can certainly answer. I have a question from My Legs Hurt. Yep. Wants to know if we're going to Comic-Con, which is an appropriate question for somebody whose legs are hurting. <laughs> no, we're not going this year. We uh, we were back and forth about whether to spend the money, but uh, it is an expensive trip, and it's a, it's a total... Uh, uh, you know, it's packed and it's crazy. We always have a great time, and we get, you always get good stuff, but uh, uh, we're going to Fat Expo this year. Um, and we've got some other trips coming up, so... Um, These are the new characters you just rescued, right? Sonic got through Act 1, yes. So, so not not at Comic-Con this year, and I, I'm missing it already because, of course, we have tons of friends down there, but uh, uh, we will still cover all of the news that comes back from, from Comic-Con. Cool, so I can change my characters here, okay. Can uh, I do it at any time so I can be Knuckles? Uh, no, that's not Knuckles, that's... Um... Isn't that Knuckles? No, he's some guy who looks like Knuckles. The, the, the yellow guy's Ray. Okay. And what's the other new guy's name? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, it'd be listed there, wouldn't it? Uh, they just say two new characters on the back. Okay, so... Oh, I see. So there's two characters coming along. They're always cruising along. So this is new. 
And apparently there's a four-player mode in this. I didn't bring any other controllers to the studio. Well, it's a good thing it's a Switch. You got oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to take one of them? Uh, let me, I just want to figure out uh, who these characters yeah. are. Mighty. Mighty. Is okay. the guy's name. He looks like Shadow, but he's, or oh, yeah, uh, Knuckles. Like Knuckles, but he's not. I can't keep up with all these Sonic characters. You can characters. play as Knuckles, though, in this as well. Okay. It, you could in the base game as well. Yes. Okay. I have a question from Hypnoglance87. Okay. Vic, how were you able to obtain the Electric Playground name after G4 went under? Oh, I, it's, it's, I own it. I own uh, Electric Playground. We, we predated G4 by, uh, I think they launched in 2002. Something like that, yeah. So we were around since the uh, end of 1994. Yeah. So uh, we launched on the web in 1995. Electric Playground's one of the oldest brands that's still running. I guess it's one of the oldest brands in, in sort of video game media, uh, or longest running brands in, me in video game media. Let's not say old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not that that's an incorrect thing to say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we predated uh, G4. There was no, they didn't have any ownership on any of that stuff at all. Yeah, most people don't realize, like, the networks don't always own the shows that they air. No. Sometimes they just buy the rights to air them. Yeah. And uh, Judgment Day was produced for them. That was a brand that they came up with, but uh, it was based on the Reviews on the Run name and, and our work already. So that's why, and people knew us as Reviews on the Run in, uh, in Canada. That's why it was called Reviews on the Run in Canada, and uh, G4 chose to call it Judgment Day in the States. Um, Adrian Leon is pointing out Mighty is an armadillo, so okay. he's Mighty the armadillo, and Ray is the flying squirrel. Okay, thank you. Do you know that armadillos have really long penises? Oh, really? Yeah. No, I did not know that. How did because, you know that? Because their um, their backs are armored, so okay. in order to copulate, they have to have like very long penises. Okay, interesting. <laughs> there you go. There's something you learn something new every day on EP Live. <laughs> I don't think uh, this character has a very long one, though. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think, think they Sega rendered would that. Put that in there, no. <laughs> they didn't have penis technology in the 16-bit days. Yeah, they need the, ex the accelerated graphics of the uh, Genesis just weren't enough. Uh, Sonic is red now. No, Matthew Longo, that's, um, that's, mighty that's Mighty Armadillo. Now I'm Sonic again. So I don't quite know how... Encore is different from the regular mode. I think it's it, they've uh, they've got a modular approach to the level design, and they've changed. Well, they redesigned some of the, some of the levels too, and didn't they bring back older levels from that weren't in the original Sonic Mania, but were in the original Sonic games, I, and I, they sort of retooled them a bit? I, I don't know. I, I just, think that's what they did. I just know that it, this is new because I know they have new characters, new levels, and new modes. Okay, cool. Hey, wait a second. Where did Sonic go? Now I'm Tails. Yeah, did you die and now you're Tails? I guess so. Maybe that's the new mode? Okay. I don't know. Well, I'm playing Encore mode. So maybe that's what that's what this is about. The, the characters just keep changing. E-Tank 2, Vic, what's your secret to not aging? Uh, <laughs> soft focus. <laughs> oh, that's, that's Blake's secret right there. <laughs> uh... My secret to not aging is uh, to not really think about how old I am, but uh, <laughs> but also to uh, keep having a great time in my life. And I'll, and also I I, I definitely uh, I watch what I I eat and yep. take into my body. Yeah, you never eat refined sugar. That's the worst thing you can do. Is refined sugar is terrible for you. It creates so many problems in your life. So have uh, honey or dates or, or agave or, yeah. or maple dried, syrup or something. Dried date, dried pitted dates are like they are as sweet as candy. Yeah, but they are not incredible. Yeah. and lots of fruit. Uh, but yeah, so I don't eat. I don't eat that. I don't eat meat. Um, I don't smoke. I don't drink very often. Um, I do eat seafood and eggs. But uh, I guess that's that's part of it. But uh, I think I think that for the most part, it's just I, I love what I do in my life. You know, I think that makes a that makes a huge difference. Uh, Blade Blur sent us a super chat. Thank you. Oh, you rock, Blade and Blur. Thank says, you. Says in the super chat, Yay! Sonic Mania was my number one of 2017. Yeah, it's so good. Well, I don't 
I'm not gonna argue. I mean, you can like whatever game you want, but you you want you like Sonic Media better than Breath of the Wild and Mario. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. It's just that surprises me because like, Sonic Media was great. It, I'd probably say it's like my third best game, fourth. But yeah, Breath of the Wild. You, if you think it's better than Breath of the Wild, then you're a big Sonic fan. So good for you. Some people do. That's I respect that. Oh look at me, man! I'm flying Son and I'm Sonic Media was a solid, solid. Game. Oh, excellent game. It is an excellent game. People uh -huh. chiming in don't even like Breath of the Wild that much. Breath of the Wild was so average. Wow! That is an objectively false statement. <laughs> I'm the guy who hates everything and I love Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it's, an, it's my favorite game of all time. The best thing about it was that I could finish it, Bethesda. Oh. But you love what you love, man. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, Vic and Blake, what do you think of the G4 show Iconics? I don't know what that or is. Or Icons? Icons. Uh, I used to think that was great. Oh yeah, yeah I remember that show. Yeah, it was yeah. it was a documentary type show. Right. I, I saw Iconics. I'm like, what, what is that? Yeah, I <laughs> no, thought I remember. I thought they did a good job with that show. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, the network was cool, man. It was it was great to be associated with them. We we loved being partnered with them. We loved creating content for the network, and the people there were awesome. It was just so tragic that the games industry couldn't see the value in having their own kind of ESPN, you know? Not not in terms of sports, but just in terms of like like this constant discussion about their work. Oh, is he an armadillo too? Yeah. <laughs> I don't what think that? I think that was his arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Icons was super cool. I always like feel really bad for Tails. He always seems like he's like scared, or like yeah, when he he's gets like hurt. a little kid, right? Yeah, I don't like know what's, even when what's he's happening like, here, even, I'm just right, like he always away. looks haggard, and like even there, like he's being hoisted up in a way that looks uncomfortable. It's yeah, and it's like I have no control over this either. Like, like I, I feel really bad for Tails all the there time. There we go. Yay! Tails got through Act Two. But look, he's like panting. So he's like Mighty's all happy, and Tails is right. just like sad. Right, right. I feel. I always feel bad for Tails. It gives me slight anxiety thinking really? about Tails. Well, I'm just he's okay. exaggerating. Um, yeah, he's fine. Uh, Daniel Christofori, what happened to the EPN app from a few years ago? Uh, we we uh, we weren't happy with the people that we worked with on that, and we couldn't keep it up to our satisfaction. And then apps sort of kind of fell out of favor for yeah. media type stuff. It just became like Nobody everybody needs like a dedicated app anymore. It, it was uh, I think we got inundated with app choices, and uh, our stuff wasn't as good as we wanted it to be, and so we just didn't keep it up. And then Twitter and Facebook and and you know posting direct stuff to your content and embedding it became such a prominent way that people were serving their material. I mean, there's lots of other ways that we should be exploring, but um, like there's news aggregators and things like that. I'd love to be doing all of that. It's just, uh, it's a priorities thing and, and uh, time commitment thing. Uh, Discord. Um. We don't have any dedicated programmers, or anybody else working with us on, uh, on serving up our content. Maybe in the future, but not right now. Speaking of which, a couple people are asking about Discord, Taz. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, we, we're... We have it. We, ha we have the server. Uh, Blade Blur is on the chat right now. I honestly don't know what the next steps are. <laughs> I don't know what we do now. I mean, it's uh, Blade Blur and I are in the server. We've we've sent messages to each other. Uh, but, uh, you know, clearly we, we can't be in there all the time because we've got to make the material. Oh, I remember this level. Uh, but it's there. I, I don't know what we do now. I guess we'll find out with, from Blade Blur and then we'll uh, we will report back to you guys. But an EPN uh, Discord server does exist. Uh oh. Okay. I actually like being mighty better. I don't know what happened to Sonic. I'll have to watch the stream to find <laughs> the, the stream I, of this. Stream. I don't think Sega knows what happened to him either. <laughs> Have you seen some of the other games recently? They're not very good. Um, comment, EPN should host a game night where we play and trash on Breath of the Wild. Oh. Why, would, why would we do that? No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. My only complaint about Breath of the Wild, and it's not really oh, I a see, complaint. I see. You hit the uh, the little TVs and then they, you become the different characters. Uh, 
There's like a, a character switch TV. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, my only complaint about Breath of the Wild is that the side quests were kind of forgettable. But that's kind of the whole point of the game is that there is no real story or hand-holding yeah. in this. Yeah. It's just go. It's open, yeah. So that's kind of the whole point of the game. So. I, I was a little bummed out that I never got a boomerang. <laughs> or, 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 or no a, hook shot. Or a hook shot. Yeah, a no hook shot. shot. Zero the, out of ten. The hook shot. I, that was the only thing that. that it kind would of break the, the the formula though, for that game, the the climbing. Oh, I would have loved it. And the shot. swords kept breaking, which was annoying. Nah, I was okay. And with I that. hate that. Oh you, man, you'd get I'm to the die. top of a thing, and then it would start raining, and you fall. Get up there! I remember struggling on this in the in the main game. No! You gotta time it. Oh my god, get up there! Woo! No! Oh. 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 Uh. When you hit the TV, oh yeah, we figured that out. Yeah. Um, there was a boomerang. You know, yeah, there was a boomerang. Are you thinking? Oh yeah, but I was thinking of the hook shot. Hook shot, yeah. yeah. But the boomerangs, like all the other things, just break. Yeah. And, like oh, the, there's, the there's... master sword breaks even. It's okay. I didn't mind that mechanic. Get up there! Get oh, sh frack! Hey, Vic and Blake, did you know oh, that today... Oh, I can swim as tails. Hey, Vic and Blake, did you know that today is the 10-year anniversary of the Dark Knight? Yeah, we did. Yep. And I was that or Street Fighter, and I put that in the display. Oh, come on! <laughs> this I can't believe I'm in... The, this was like my nightmare in the regular Sonic Mania thing. Okay, let's see what else we got in this collection. Let's go to the front menu and see what else is in there. It's been 10 years since DC made a good movie. Oh, you're, you're ridiculous. <laughs> Wonder Woman was awesome. The, not compared to The Dark Knight, it was. Well, it's different. Yeah. But the Dark Knight is a vastly superior film. Okay. So let's start from the beginning and... Ah, oh, no, no. Everybody, everybody's seen Mania Mode. So Encore Mode. There's competition. Is competition new? I can't remember. Join a friend in co-op or four-player competition mode. So an all-new uh, adventure with Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles full of unique bosses, rolling 2D landscapes, full uh, pixel-perfect gameplay. It just says two new characters in an all-new Encore mode. Yeah, there's uh, new levels, too. It was on the website. I was looking at it. Okay. Trust me. I was looking at it just today. Okay. They, they redesigned some of the older... Maybe uh, you have to unlock them. All right, well, let's play... Um, Let's play, uh, I'll just put, I'll put it in here. Let's play, uh, the, the game from the beginning and we'll see if it feels different. So, I, you can get this as DLC for the existing... Yeah, it's five Sonic bucks. Mania. I don't, I don't know good. if it's five bucks in Canada, but, uh... It's a pretty good price. Yep. Yeah. And this is the first physical release of the game, too, right? Yeah. Didn't they, they made some booklet or something, though, for the last one that you can buy. Yeah. But yeah, I think, yeah, this is the first retail of the actual game. So it's kind of the definitive edition. People talking about the Dark Knight. Do you still, what, what are your thoughts on the Dark Knight Rises? Like, do you still hate it? Uh, More or less. I haven't like... been able to watch it again <laughs> in its entirety since the first time I saw yep. it in the theater, and that put me to sleep. Yeah, I've watched. I've sat down and watched it a couple boring movie. Times. Yeah, I hate that movie so With, much. Without Batman in it, hardly. You know. Do you and... remember how shocked we were leaving the theater? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck did we? What just happened? Like, <laughs> yeah. I remember I actually said that to you. I was like, what happened? Yeah. I was so mad. Ugh, what an awful movie that was. I, I, I mean, I love The Dark Knight. That was a shockingly good movie, let alone a Batman movie or a superhero movie. It was just a great movie. I, I have a question. A friend just texted me. Yeah. Total coincidence. Uh, do you know what Captain Toad is like for the Switch or Octopath? Um, Octopath <laughs> is is a must get. And I guess he's just hearing about Octopath now, so he's asking me. And Captain Toad, uh, is, I've heard, is really good. Um, I, I haven't had a chance to check it out yet, though. All my friends, but I, I dug it on the on the Wii U, and I know that they've added a bunch of new content yeah. to it. All my friends ask me game stuff because they know like what I do for a living. Yeah, so. of course. Yeah. They they all text me with weird game questions. <laughs> like, how do I find the key in the second level? <laughs> it's a good thing Blockbuster isn't open at all. <laughs> <laughs> Every, every time they'd be in the store, they'd be texting. Yeah. 
Uh, question, does Sonic Mania make you excited for the live-action Sonic movie from My Legs Hurt? Um, not really, no. Well, it's live-action CGI hybrid. You know, what this and Octopath Traveler really kind of underline is that there is tremendous value in... I, I hate to kind of qualify it as nostalgia or retro. It is that, but it's just wonderful art, you know? It's just wonderful, beautiful pixel art, you know, that that still matters and still looks really good. But you, I'm gonna have to go ahead and disagree with you there, Vic. Okay, go a, ahead. A lot of the appeal of Sonic is character. Yes. That's, I mean, look at, I mean, so many of the games in the last 10 years have been shit, but people love the character. Yes. The, the character is cool, the supporting characters are cool, so yeah. you could take those and make a very good movie with those characters. Yeah, I'm not. It doesn't I, I, I'm not discounting the, the the fact of the movie. I'm talking about the the 16 bitness of this and of Octopath. Mm. Still, still tremendous value in them as games and that kind of art style. But it doesn't, you know, this doesn't make me excited for. Oh, I see. What you're saying. It doesn't make me excited for a movie. It makes me excited for the idea of more of this. You know, I we we talked about this the other day. That when the PlayStation came out and became such an enormous success, the very first PlayStation. And the move was to, to get away from content like this. It left a whole bunch of developers kind of figuring out what they were going to try to do yeah. because they become proficient they at like, building worlds like they, this. They didn't want to make these kind of games because it was like passe. Yes, and so they all had to yeah. learn 3D art and you know different art platforms, and uh, they had to think about 3D physics and positioning of cameras and stuff in a totally different way. And so these kinds of games disappeared for so long, and now they're back because indie game developers can play in this sandbox uh, without the expense of uh, 3D, but they also prove that, you know, games like this and Octopath, and there's lots of other ones, Celeste, that we could point to, SteamWorld Dig 2, that, that there's still tremendous value and tremendous longevity in this kind of art style, you know? So I'm, I'm excited. Sure, I, I want to see what that Sonic movie is like, but I'm more excited that this is a massive success and there's already more of it from Sega, and I hope that it doesn't ever go away. I hope that we get Sonic games like this forever, because I love this kind of style for Sonic. There will definitely be a sequel to this. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is it. We've already got. We've well, already this, got our this, this to is it. the uh, like the collector's edition, yes. but I I uh, I want there to be sequels and like even if you know PlayStation Five or whatever. Like I want people to think that this kind of design is still incredibly valuable. And it's not the only way. I think there's beautiful 3D work out there too, but I just, I, I would hate for it to be um, looked down upon again, you know? Like, it's just cheesy retro stuff, because it ain't that. Yeah, I'm not worried about the Sonic movie, sort of. I, I think it could be good. I don't know if it will be, but... Uh, <laughs> it could be. The thing that gives me hope is how cool the characters are. You well, know I mean? Sonic is cool. Because so the reason so many video game movies don't work is because the games aren't good outside of the gameplay. Right. Like the thing, like Laura Croft, especially the original Laura Croft, yes. is not that compelling of a character. The reason no she's way. compelling, the, re the new one is. But the original one was just a pair of boobs. The reason she was cool is because you got to play as her. I, I don't know, man. Like, you, you had to, like all old video games, you had to kind of throw your imagination That's into what I mean. It. But you don't do that in a movie, right? That's why it never right. works. Right, okay. Um, but Sonic is different. Sonic is so cool and, you know, he has so the, much... The challenge with Sonic is, you know, one of the things that they're touting with this game is the other characters are not as cool and they all feel like, uh, like they're trying to just add them in and they're like different, like they're... There's a they're, lot of Knuckles fans out there, Vic. I know, but they're, they're sort of like alternate color versions of what Sonic, or slivers of what <laughs> Sonic represents, you know? Well, Tails is a different personality. Yeah. Tails, I don't mind. I, I think what they did is when they went to 3D design for Sonic games, they had to flesh out the world, and then the comics and the animated show. And none of the other characters resonated with me like Sonic did. And I had a major issue with not only the 3D work, but that, that I didn't really care about playing as Biggs the Cat and stuff. <laughs> Although I never forgot Biggs the Cat, so maybe that's part of the... Uh, maybe <laughs> that's a win <laughs> for, for Sega. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited is Tommy for the new animated Spider-Man movie? I actually haven't talked to him about that. I would love to review that with him. I'm so, I am freaking excited about that. I can't wait a, for is that. Is he a fan of uh, Miles Morales, or is it a, the original I, I think he's, a, he's probably a purist. I think he's probably a Peter yeah. Parker guy. Yeah. I mean, he's got a, one of the biggest Spider-Man collections I've ever seen. 
of all the comics and stuff. I love Spider-Man too, by the way. Uh, all yeah, right. Comment from Abby Jamison. Great yeah. game design is timeless regardless of graphical style. Absolutely. That's very true. Celeste is an excellent example of that. That's that's also, and I hope some of you have played that. It's an amazing game, but it's also one of the best games of this year. And it's a, a full-on throwback. It's a it's a platformer, um, a, a roguelike, you know, where it's one one death and you're out of the game and you got to start over, kind of thing, from your checkpoints. Uh, but it's incredible. So cool. Yeah, Samian or Sam. I keep calling him Samian. Sam I am one one one. Celeste was really good. Yeah. Superb game. Isn't Celeste the name of Babar's wife? Of who? Babar the elephant. I don't know. Isn't his wife named Celeste? <laughs> I think my kid has outgrown Babar already. <laughs> <laughs> so I never. I missed my Babar time. <laughs> I never. I've been to... watched Babar in twenty five in more than quarter of a century. <laughs> Matthew Longo, Peter is Spider-Man, period. Too many damn clones. I don't know, man. I'm psyched about this Miles Morales take. I think it's great. I think you can have, with a character like that puts on a mask, you can have more than one. I, just like you can have different actors play these roles for all time, too. You know, yeah. there's, there is, like, the, the, the role and the hero transcends the performer and transcends the, uh, yeah. the, um, the alter ego. Yeah. You know? It does. But even like like they're like oh, the, but know, Miles is... Morales and Peter Parker both being Spider Man. Yes. Like you can have two different captains of the Enterprise. Totally. You can right? have two different Captain Americas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it doesn't it's just putting on a mask. I mean, Batman has uh, the Batman mask has been worn, worn by Dick Grayson and uh, Alfred has had to come in and support him sometimes. <laughs> They're fun in the sort of alternative universe context, but they're also fun to kind of <laughs> talk about these characters being more important, just like Batman was saying in uh, in the uh, Nolan trilogy. Is is yeah, the character? Know. Yeah, the the concept of him is more important than the uh, the actual man behind the mask. And that's going to be true with Iron Man when Robert Downey Jr. finally leaves, and you know. Are they gonna? Because in the comics, isn't the new Iron Man like? It's some. It's like Riri Williams. Uh, that's Iron Heart. Okay. Yeah. Because they could make Shuri from Black Panther the next. It's one of the rumors yeah. that that's going to happen. Yeah. They're actually uh, Marvel just announced that they're they're coming out with a Shuri um, comic series. Yeah. She was year. great. She's the best thing in that movie. Fantastic. That actress. I forget yeah. her name. I think uh -huh. she's uh, John Boyega's girlfriend. In real life? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, somebody is pointing out that Celeste is Babar's cousin. Okay. Thank so, you for that. Thank you for I, ho I hope that's not his wife. Phew! Thank God we got that. But it, I so. thought it was his wife, so I hope he didn't marry his cousin. <laughs> Babar. <laughs> so I hope uh, those that have never seen Sonic Mania before are recognizing its genius yes. and how much it... I like this game. It so feels... <laughs> yeah. If I like something, it... Cranky Puss is all into yeah. it. He's in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, if it, like, it, it's just it, it totally honors the, the roots of the franchise, and it's new as well, you know? It's big, there's lots of secrets, lots of value. My only, my only complaint, and this is a complaint you could say about the old Sonic games, no is that... No hookshot. It, no hookshot, and also, you, it's easy to get lost. Oh, yeah. You said this in your review, like, it's yes. kind of, it gets a little confusing as to where do I have to go, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. So did we fight this guy in the encore mode? I can't remember. I think, I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah, because he shoots a giant arm. Ouch. How do you how do you attack him? You gotta get uh, avoid the spiky bits and, and get him on the head. head. Oh. And always. Are you sure that's his arm? Pick? That's his arm, buddy. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a hedgehog and I destroyed a giant robot. Oh Apparently Celeste is Babar's cousin and wife. What? Apparently Shot he it. married his cousin. No. Babar married. No. 
of the <laughs> Why would they put that in a children's thing? <laughs> Timberwolf like, like best new Blake name. Cranky Puss? Cranky Puss. <laughs> it suits me. I don't object to that. <laughs> oh, who are all these characters? Uh, I don't know. Are they his, like, his entourage? I, I can't remember how, like, I haven't played the original for a long time now, so I don't know. It's like they took a, some of the Chaos Emeralds. Those are Dr. Who remembers Eggman's... the differences here? Take us in. Those are, like, Bowser Jr.'s? Yeah, I guess so. Dr. Eggman? Yeah. They're like his children? Mini robots. <laughs> oh, man, this game is insane. It's so good. I think it's the level after this one that I got really stuck on. Yeah. In uh, in the original game a year ago. So I had to Google it to get past it. I think we were heading to... to uh, when did the first one come out? Was it around this time? I think I was playing it at PAX. Okay. I think like on the way to PAX, you and I were both playing it on the Switch. There was some event we went we to. We were traveling, and I remember we, and being we on a plane. we were both traveling and playing this yeah. at the same time, yeah. Actually, we went to Con last year for MIPCOM. And uh, that the was Switch, before this came out. Yeah, and the Switch came out just yeah. before. Yeah. And so we were flying we were for both, many, many hours playing We were both playing play, sitting there game. playing like, uh, Breath of the Wild. And <laughs> people on the airplane, it was still a novelty, so it, people on the airplane who had Oh, everybody was asking, were, yeah. 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 Is that the new Switch? They're like, what is that? I bought a, a, a battery pack thing that gave my, my Switch power for like 50 hours. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't really used it since that flight, actually, or since that trip. Abby Jamison is informing me that those robots we saw earlier are called the Hardcore Heavies. The okay. Hard-Boiled Heavies. Hard-Boiled Heavies, okay. That sounds like a metal band. Yeah. No pun intended. Jordan Cunningham, question. Hey, Vic, did you check out the art book? I think those are his robots, like in Mega Man. Did, uh, did, did gotcha. we get the art book version? Yeah. It, it, oh, you I did, did the I, unboxing the other day. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't bring it out for, for this, but uh, I do have that, and I cherish this. This is fantastic. Wait, 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 wait. Go. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Go! Watch out, the spikes there, Vic. <laughs> Nice. Oh, tails fell. So this is this is just the regular game. I think we're gonna check out the encore mode again after uh, we either die or get to the end of this level. Uh, the levels are really long. I remember. Is that your hint? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You might almost be finished this level, but I, like I remember How the levels I get out of here? being longer than you would think. I'm stuck in here. Can you not jump when the thing lifts up? I'm I'm pushing it up. You can't go down. No. Okay, tails, fly me out of there. I'm. St I, I think I. St I'm. I think I crashed the game. I'm stuck in here. Uh, Timberwolf just sent us a super chat and says, "I will double this if Blake changes his <laughs> Twitter handle to Cranky Puss, which I'm going to do right now." <laughs> oh my God! I, thank you so much, Timberwolf. You rock, man. Uh, get me out of here! I don't know why I'm stuck in here, but I'm stuck in here. I, maybe I found a bug. Holy moly. Okay, Timberwolf, I changed my Twitter profile name. You don't have to pay me to do that. I just, I think, I, I like the name uh, Twi uh, Cranky Puss. <laughs> <laughs> I think it suits me, so I'm gonna own it. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, quitting out of there. I'm stuck, I don't know why. Maybe they have to patch the game, but it's, it's okay. I think there's some trick to getting out of there. All right, so we'll go back to Encore mode. Time attack isn't new, right? This is just getting past the levels as quickly as possible. Competition, let's try a competition. Oh, we're gonna break out the Switch, uh, yeah. the things? Yes. Oh, thanks for the super chat, Timberwolf. Oops. Uh-oh. There it is. All right, there you go. Let us know if you can still hear the game, because we just had a little... Uh, a little inter interruption there. Do there we both? go. Uh, there we both, go. Don't I? don't I need both? Nope. You sure? Yeah, just turn it sideways like that. Okay. So I get the tiny little thing. Yes, you, you do. The... Yeah, that's the way it works. Okay. That competition. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fair competition. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll do Sonic. And then you go, you press, uh, press the A button. There you go. So I, I don't know, should I be Tails? Because I uh, Timberwolf, you rock, man. Tails. Thank you. All right. Nice, Timberwolf. Sonic and Knuckles, here we go. Confirm, go. Sonic Mania plus Knuckles. Um, items. Fixed. Match length. Three lounge. Screen lay uh, layout. Okay, here we go. I'm on top, I believe. 
Uh, we have all of these different levels open. Let's do. Let's do that one. Pink with the pink tree. Yeah. Okay. That one. All right. Press. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's You're confusing. on the bottom. Oh my god, that is confusing. Yeah. Okay. Well, how else were they going to do it? Why can't we just both be right next to each because other? Because this... I, I, I'm going to get very far ahead of you. Are we Are we racing? Yes. Oh. I it's a competition. We were, I didn't know we were I'm racing I've turned into a block other. of ice. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't know we were racing each other. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. This, this would be a good game to play drunk with your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell is that? I'm drunk right now. Okay, it right. is. It oh, is yes. a game to it, play. it is Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah! Whoa! So I'm, I'm seeing um, Equalizer 2 tonight. I'll have a review for you guys tomorrow. We'll have a new EP live tomorrow. Um, and hopefully it's good. I have seen the original. The original was way better than it should have been. The uh, Denzel Washington yeah, original, one, yes. Yeah. And not, not the TV show. Though. And Mike, who was it? Michael Caine in the TV show? Uh, I can't remember. I think. It was oh no, guy Michael Caine like played Michael a guy Caine. that uh, was like the Equalizer, and I get him confused. Yeah. Yeah. There's another movie that is. I don't. Hollywood loves old guys killing other people. They, yeah. they just, they, <laughs> since the days of Charles Bronson, I think you know. Oh man, there's just so many great little flourishes like this. Yeah, that first Equalizer movie, I went in to see it like with my arms crossed, thinking yeah. it was going to be crap. And then I was like, wow, this is really good. Uh, yeah. You know why? Denzel yeah, Washington. And uh, Antoine. And uh, Fuqua is good, yeah. Although, but the thing is though, the reason I wasn't that sure is because both of those guys have made shitty movies. In yes, the they have. Training Day was totally overrated, I thought. But yeah, the Equalizer movie, if you haven't seen it, is very good. The only complaint is that Denzel ah. Denzel is too cool in it. Like he's you never worry. Invincible, yeah. Yeah, you never yeah. worried that he's going to be like the Ocean's Ele uh, Ocean's 8 girls the other day. Ocean's 8 women, pardon me. How do I get out of here? Ah! Vic, I don't know how to get out of this place. Well, there. that's okay cuz I'm going to kick your ass. That's fine. that that is how it was preordained. That's fine. Okay. Ah! I'm, cur I ha I'm curious how this would run on the other platforms if, if the uh, split screen runs a little bit nicer on uh, PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Well, we know the controller wouldn't be as easy. <laughs> like, we wouldn't be able to just... We how do I get out of this place that I'm in? Uh, don't worry about it. I'm about to end this game, so it's all that's good. Fine. All right, go, 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 go! That's, I, the, that's the other device. good thing about the Switch is that I don't, I mean, not just the portability, but being able to just whip the controllers off and go right into two players yeah. is, is cool. It's fantastic. Get up there! So I actually, let's do a little chat poll here. Who owns the Switch and who is seriously thinking of getting one now that they've seen uh, the love for Octopath Traveler? Is that the game that's going to sway your mind? Or sway your decision here. So I that I, I that is my question for you guys. Ah, come on! How do I get? I don't want to get out of this place. Really this is a this is a tough level. Oh 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 oh! I need oh oh oh! Maybe I can get down here. No. I see. Okay. Oh, so so cool. Ingenious. You know what I think about this game is that the people that worked on the old 8-bit games are just like, No, oh, I could have thought of that. I could have done that. <laughs> or the old 16-bit games. It's so good. I wonder if there is any envy. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Hey! I don't know how to get out of this place. <laughs> what happens if I stand here? Do I do I Uh, I bought mine when the Mario Odyssey bundle came out. So, uh, Jordan Cunningham is on board. So, l let's see how our chat pulled. I, I, I pre-ordered mine the first day. It was pre-ordered. Oh, game over. All right, so that's good. So that's uh, a little taste of Sonic Mania Plus. Just a tiny little taste. I could be playing that for hours and hours and hours. Uh, but let's see what people... Octopath looks too old school for my taste. So, Fat Chimp is out. I am thinking uh, of getting one for Octopath Traveler. That's uh, Faramir. Um, let's see what we got here. I think I would get one for Breath of the Wild and Bayonetta 3 from Philip Nyagi. That sounds awesome. I, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, the Fix podcast says, Cranky Puss! 
We have a new name for this man. Uh, I own one, but I missed that game review, so we'll watch for info on there. Uh, did I enjoy Danger Zone 2? Tyler Fisher is asking. I've enjoyed it so far. I, I felt the um, the creep of its addiction coming in, and then people it's said... It's fun to smash shit. Yeah, it is. And, and then people said, will you do a, a live uh, reaction to No Man's Sky uh, next? Yeah, so we, we did that did yesterday. That, yeah. Um, and I thought that looked pretty cool too. I have a Switch, but I'm just waiting for the HD Zelda games that came out for the Wii U. Breath of the Wild wasn't for me. Wow, Chronicles of Way being very choosy about his Zelda experiences. Uh, Audrey on Leon, I have a Switch, but I'm not sure on getting Octopath as much as I want to. I don't yeah, think you're going to... Octopath is not for everyone. I know it is. You're not an argument. Yeah, I didn't like it. You, so. you think... Well, you didn't like the demo, but I think... I didn't think I was going to like Octopath. I didn't say this in the review. I thought I was going to be like, I don't know, too difficult, too time-consuming, too many characters. And honestly, I tried all, almost every character. For, I t for an hour, I went off on each path to see which one I would like the best. That's why I chose Ophelia. I love the music and the style. But then it really sunk its hooks into me, and it was about that nostalgic you know, immersion, but the production was incredible. Um... Oh, Tyler Fisher saying... Uh, Blackberry Key 2 is trying to tell us something. Oh, yeah, I'm so good. It's just getting all my emails and stuff. Totally works, this uh, Blackberry Key 2. Absolutely. Like, I wish I, I could give it a higher score, but uh, it's definitely a very cool little phone. Doesn't it look great? Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's slick, yeah. It's like a retro thing from the future. <laughs> you know, like it's got a, yeah. like it's it's got a state of the art kind of quality to it, but it's got a retro thing, and that's yeah. exactly like Octopath Traveler too. Yeah. Maybe that's the theme, and same with uh, Sonic Mania. Yeah, that's it for uh, that's it for today's uh, let's play and okay, bye, chat. Everyone. Thank you, everybody. Um, Dead Cells and Mega Man X collection on Switch. I have Mega Man X, and uh, there will there will be a review forthcoming. Um, and uh, a lot more content tomorrow. We're going to have Equalizer 2 and some other cool stuff, so make sure you come back for that. Thank you all so much for joining us on EP Live. Remember, this is a live show. We stream it as often as we can, so we encourage you to come and watch live if you can. We recognize that it's uh, in the middle of the day, 1 o'clock PST, Pacific Standard or Eastern Standard at 4 p.m., so not everybody can be here for that, but uh, we sure appreciate that you are here if you are here live, or if you take the time to watch this as an archive. Uh, we love your comments and your feedback. Thank you. Please keep those coming and those thumbs up if you like it. Remember, we've got lots of other content, so if you dig it, don't forget to hit subscribe, that little bell. If you're so inclined, we have a sponsor button there, too. Just remember, have fun and play forever.